Vivi Marcuse, licensed by the Department of Financial Institutions, NMLS ID 237926. Also licensed in Arizona, 0941504. Florida, L076508. Georgia, 69178. Idaho, Nevada, 57237. Oregon, Tennessee, 184373. Texas, Washington, MLO 237926. She's a mortgage mom. She can get things done. When you're in need and don't know where to go, pick up the phone and call mom. Well, hello and welcome to Mortgage Mom Radio. I am Debbie Marcou. I am the Mortgage Mom. And what do we do here on my channel? Well, we bring you all of the education and information that you need all route, all things real estate and lending. So we are making sure that we are getting you set in the right direction to get all of that financing done and all of that purchasing done. So whether you need to refinance or you want to buy your first home or you want to buy your next home or your investment property, this is the channel for you to make sure that you're getting all of the information up to date that we can possibly bring to you. On top of that, we are loan officers and we do mortgages for a living. So if you have questions, get on the calendar, talk with us. We are not pushy. We're going to make sure that we get you the information that you need. And then from there, if you would like to move forward, if you feel that it is the appropriate timing for you, then you can go ahead and create that relationship with us and get that mortgage started. So please keep that in mind. This is an interactive channel. I want to make sure that you guys are asking questions. That is the best way to get your information that you're looking for, the answers that you need, and help everybody else to get the answers that they need. Uh, If you're thinking the question, chances are somebody else or many others are thinking those same questions as well. So today's show is going to be about student loan debt. I think that that is very important that we discuss. It has been put on deferment multiple times um, since 2020 when everything was shut down. That was one of the first things that happened was student loan payments were deferred and they didn't give you a choice. If you had a student loan debt, if you had a loan it got deferred whether you needed it or not. So that has made some big changes for a lot of people that we're going to talk about. Make sure that you wrap your head around it and then talk about if you own a home currently, what can you do about that student loan debt that is going to come back and is going to hit you with new monthly payments later this year. So as of December the 31st, those student loan payments were supposed to come due. So January 1. Well, obviously that didn't happen. They did defer those out one more time. So I do believe without having it in front of me, I believe you guys have until March or April before those payments are now going to kick in and get started. But what has this done to you? What has deferring these loans actually done for you? Uh, you know, where is it put you at, right? So a lot of people don't quite understand what the repercussion is of all of these months of time that have gone by without having made a, a, a student loan payment. So before everything was just shut off and you were not, uh, and you were making the payments on a regular basis, that was part of your budget. It was something that you planned on making every single month. It was something that you knew was coming. It was something that you prepared for. Maybe when it did hit you for the first time after they kicked in, uh, you know, school ended, whether you graduated or you stopped going and six months went by and all of a sudden, boom, you owe these payments, right? They might have hit you in the face at that time, or maybe, again, you were prepared for them and you you knew that they were coming. Either way, up until March of 2020, you were making your payments. Now, all of a sudden, boom, they're gone. They're gone. Thin air, gone. You don't have to make those payments anymore. What has that done to a lot of people? Well, okay, number one, some people have been really good about it, continued to make payments, uh, continued to want to get that debt paid down. Um, didn't go out and buy other things, didn't finance a new car at a higher monthly payment than they had on the old car, um, didn't replace the car that had no payment because now they could afford a monthly payment. And there were many people that did do those things. So number one, they got comfortable. They have now created a brand new budget. And think about this, guys. It's been a long amount of time. March of 2020 is when those payments stopped. We are now in January of 2022. So there's been a long time go by that those payments haven't been made. They haven't been due and you haven't had to account for them. So they very quickly go bye-bye. Your brain's not thinking about it anymore. Your budget, your your checkbook is not 
thinking about it anymore. And you're creating a brand new budget without those in mind. And that is something that is going to definitely get you when those payments come back if you're not prepared. And especially if you've gone out and you've created new debt and new monthly payments and didn't budget those in. So what can you do? Well, unfortunately, if you don't own a home today, I can't do anything to help you get those paid off. However, I can give you this advice. If you call your student loan companies that you own, that you have the loan with, that you owe the money to, you can ask them to get you on an income-based repayment plan. Some of them will not do it. So you have to call and you have to ask. I cannot guarantee you that this is an option. Some of them will not do it, but many of them will. So call and ask, is it possible to get an income-based repayment plan? They will then look at all of your income that you make, and they will look at the debts that you pay, and they will determine how much that you can afford in a monthly payment. And they will actually then change what the minimum amount is that is due to that new lower amount if that is what you need. Now, obviously, if the payment that you can afford is more than what the minimum payment is, then you're you're done. <laughs> There's nothing I can do to help you there. But if you are struggling, you're not making quite enough, you have incurred other debts that you didn't have before, you can definitely call them and ask, is it possible to get an income-based repayment plan? Um, that is something that really very well may help you. Now, if you own a home, you can also do that still, obviously. That is an option for everybody that has a student loan. However, if you own a home and you have student loans, I would highly encourage you to call us and talk to us about doing a student loan refinance cash out. So we have a program called a student loan refinance. We can give you an interest rate the same as what a rate and term refinance would be, but get you the cash to pay off the student loan debt. Now, we still have to make sure that you've got equity in the home. However, many of you who own homes today have seen dramatic increases in the value of your house. So there is a very, very good chance that you do have enough equity to pay off some or all of that student loan debt at a much, much lower interest rate than what your current student loan has the interest rate at. So definitely something that you want to talk to us about get on the books, give us a call, schedule the appointment, go to mortgagemomradio.com, click on that book appointment button and make an appointment to talk with one of us, one of our loan officers, or call the office. It's 844-935-3634. We'll get you transferred right away to one of my loan officers, one of my girls, or you can actually ask specifically for me and I would be happy to talk to you. It's going to be a consultation. We're going to talk about what is your house worth? What is your interest rate today? How much do you owe in student loans? What are the interest rates on the student loans? And then what can we do for you as far as doing a cash out refinance and getting those wrapped into your home? It's going to be tax deductible. I mean, there's just so many benefits around doing that. And the interest rate on the home mortgage is more than likely quite a bit lower than what it is on the student loan debt. It's also going to be a lower monthly payment because it will be financed over a lo longer period of time. And we're going to help you budget a little bit better than maybe what you've been budgeting. So again, give us a call, get on the calendar, whether you call the office, whether you go to the website, get yourself an appointment, talk with one of us, let's go through the numbers. And then again, it's going to be hands off from there. You're going to think about what's best for you. Does it make sense? And if you would like to move forward, then you're going to reach out to one of us again and we'll get that application started. So one more time, it's 844-935-3634. It's how you call the office. If you want to opt in, you want to get my phone app or you want to opt in to get one text message a week to know that we've gone live, text the word MOM to 844-935-3634. Please text the word MOM. Don't text subscribe. Don't text stop me in text the word mom. It's an automated system and it will opt you in right away if you text the word mom. That's 844 we lend for you. That's W E L E N D and the number 4. You want to call the office? It's the same number. Or again, go to the website, go to mortgagemomradio.com and click on that book appointment button. If you do not see a day and time that works good for you, 
please send me an email to questions at mortgagemomradio.com. I will get you set up for a time that works for you. So let me know if you need an early morning or you need a late afternoon or late evening. Let me know what your calendar is and I will find someone on my team who can assist you at the time that works best. So please don't hesitate to do that. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you felt that it was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell. I am on here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday with new episodes for you to keep you guys up to date and understanding and educating. Please throw those questions into the feed. It is the best way to get your questions answered. Sometimes we're gonna get redirected in the show. Sometimes I'm gonna answer them uh, right into the feed for you so that we don't get redirected, but there is no question that is not a good question. So please make sure that you put your question in the feed. If you're watching, let me know that you're here. Give me a hi, give me a thumbs up, give me something. And I will see you guys uh, on Wednesday. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. Debbie Marcuse, licensed by the Department of Financial Institutions and MLS ID 237926. Also licensed in Arizona, 0941504. Florida, LO76508. Georgia, 69178. Idaho, Nevada, 57237. Oregon, Tennessee, 184373. Texas, Washington, MLO237926. She's a mortgage mom. She can get things done. When you're in need and don't know where to go. Pick up the phone and call mom.